The song's emotional and stirring finish completely transcends the genre's rock and roll cliches by substituting something startlingly real and heartfelt. The story's fitting conclusion, track 10, Rock and Roll Suicide, makes the protracted build-up seem worthwhile. Track 10, Rock and Roll Suicide is the album's final track by Daisy Jones and the Six. The band's final performance, that tragic gig in Chicago in October 1977, is referenced in the finale, which also touches on the band members' present-day lives. It's a fantastic emotional performance with some unexpected turns and an equally unexpected depth. This climax was designed by the creators to have the greatest impact, and by the third it is a complete gut punch of emotions. They won't be let down, this is a very great conclusion. The majority of the climax is skillfully arranged with scenes from the gig and those from earlier in the day being spliced together. Although Eddie has a black eye and Billy has returned to drinking, things appear to be going nicely as we begin with the first song from that sold-out performance. The episode then flashes back 10 hours. Billy is being distant from Camilla after she saw him having a sexual encounter with Daisy. Karen and Graham behave similarly distantly towards one another. Warren is just being himself, and Eddie has had enough of Billy. They receive their hotel room keys from Rod, who instructs them to report to soundcheck by 4 p.m. Daisy talks openly about her tumultuous relationship with Billy while having lunch with Simone. She can no longer maintain this charade because she is in love with him. The pain of continuing to play music with him and work together has become too much for her because he has once more rejected her affection. Billy tells Camilla the truth, right. In the meantime, Camilla confronts Billy about the alleged encounter she saw. Billy uses his standard argument that everything is merely an act, but he won't deny his feelings for Daisy. Billy is honest, nothing has transpired between them. But Camilla doesn't think this suffices. Daisy arrives just as she leaves him. Billy explains to Daisy what just happened, assuring her that he was honest with her and that nothing has happened and never will. Daisy tries to be sincere with Camilla by acknowledging her feelings for Billy, but that he will always pick Camilla over her. But Billy's wife isn't interested since she believes they are meant to be together. This causes Daisy to spiral downward. She increases her drug use, and a conversation with her mother over the phone just makes things worse. Daisy intensifies her drug use and supplements it with copious amounts of alcohol. She seems content to destroy herself and her job in order to numb the agony because she feels self-destructive. The situation for Graham and Karen isn't much better either. Karen tells her boyfriend everything about the abortion. Graham is upset that she refused to let him help her get through that awful experience or even inform him. Graham is devastated when Karen says she will never want children. If she doesn't intend to have children in the future, he cannot be with her. Eddie's departure from the band, why? Billy defaces his hotel room in fury after Camilla decides to leave him. Eddie confronts Billy after he just broke one of his guitars at the worst possible time. Eddie informs Billy that he is leaving the band and is sick of the way he has been treated. He spills everything, saying Billy even had to redo his parts for the album and that he never wanted to be the bass player. The tipping point came when Billy stole his opportunity during the concert in Pittsburgh. Billy responds that Eddie enjoys being made fun of because it offers him a justification for performing poorly. Eddie responds by claiming to have had a relationship with Camilla. Billy strikes Eddie in the face as retaliation, giving Eddie a black eye. Billy calls Teddy before leaving a voicemail for Camilla. He needs support and is at his lowest point, but he finds it difficult to tell Teddy that. After leaving the phone booth, Billy enters a bar. When a supporter offers him a drink, Billy completely abandons his plan. Billy and Daisy are both late for the sound check and end up drinking instead. Around 8.30 p.m., they finally catch up with the band, and they are both very drunk. Billy gives Daisy a private kiss. She understands that he has resumed drinking and that he genuinely enjoys the singer's wild side. Even though Billy and Daisy are blatantly making out throughout the entire performance and repeatedly come close to kissing, the gig goes very well. Heartbrokenly watching from the audience is Camilla. Billy and Daisy are all over each other backstage after their last song. Billy uses drugs while telling Daisy that Camilla has broken up with him. They make out passionately, but Daisy is surprised by Billy's abrupt transformation. Daisy disagrees with Billy's assertion that they should be fixed together because they are both broken. Graham tells Karen that he no longer cares about having children since all he wants is to be with her. Karen breaks up with the guitarist because she doesn't want Graham to regret this choice. Billy makes a choice. Daisy addresses the audience with a statement on love during the encore. She addresses the audience while really just speaking to Billy. She basically advises him to pursue Camilla, implying that they can't be together since it will never work out. Camilla is leaving the hotel with her daughter as Billy exits the stage and pursues her. Billy and Camilla fight, and he confesses his love for Daisy. The dispute is interrupted by their daughter. This is the biggest twist the show has yet to offer. Julia, the daughter, is the interviewer right now. She admits to remembering that argument to her father in the present. Daisy makes a decision to enter rehab at the after party, and the band breaks up shortly after. Eddie and Graham both decide to resign the following morning since they are unable to continue working with Karen separately. Then, after the band broke up, we see updates on what happened to each individual band member. With a new band, Karen continued touring and recording music. Graham returned home, found love, and began a family. Eddie formed a new band and continues to perform. 
After getting married, Warren worked as a session drummer on Daisy's solo album. What occurs with Camilla, Bernie and Simone reconciled and founded the Haven nightclub. Rod left the business, and Teddy passed away. Daisy continued to work alone and gave birth to a daughter. When Billy sought treatment, Camilla was eventually won back. The series' most tragic turn was when Camilla was ill and ultimately passed away. The band members discuss Camilla and how she united them all. Billy talks about his tumultuous relationship with Daisy and how they were both a disaster and the perfect match. Both of them were aware that their survival depended on their being apart. I believe that this is what the phrase rock and roll suicide means. Their jobs and rock and roll lifestyles were destroyed when they separated, allowing them to live happy lives in their place. To cease killing one another, they had to leave that existence behind in part ways. Billy and Daisy watch video of Camilla's last interview in the episode's closing moments. Camilla requests that Julia deliver a message to them both. She instructs Billy to phone Daisy and wait for Daisy's response. Billy and Daisy were destined to be together, and Camilla was aware of this. Nevertheless, they had to mature significantly before they could be back together. Billy knocks on Daisy's door in the closing scene. She responds, and they grin at one another. Now that they have another chance, Billy and Daisy can work things out. Thanks for watching, and if you are new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.